Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we're talking Android tablets today. Now, if you're like me, you probably haven't touched one in a while, but I'm here to give you what I consider the best Android tablet to pick up. Now, I'm talking about the brand new Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. Yes, it was announced about a week ago, and I've been using this for, for a little bit of time here, and I've gotta say though, it's got some really unique features uh, that I think you definitely like. So let's go through some of them that I actually like on this device. First off, it's got a 7500 milliamp battery, which Samsung says will give you all day battery life, and I would say I've used it all day. Um, I haven't actually drained it in a single day yet, I'm still trying to, but I've pretty much used it from like eight o'clock in the morning till about maybe 10, 11 at night. Um, and it's solid. It is a solid performer in there. Paired with the Snapdragon 835 processor, you've got four gigs of RAM, which is kind of on the lighter side, but it is still pretty solid. Now, the other thing too I do like on this device is of course, it's got thinner bezels and it's got a very nice footprint. So that's 16 by nine aspect ratio. It's really nice to actually view content, whether you're uh, watching movies on there, whether you're gaming on this uh, tablet, or even if you're just looking at say your email, it's really nice and spread out. So that's also pretty good. Now, the big killer in this device of course is Dex. Now, usually in the past, you needed a dock for Dex and you needed to plug in your phone or your device. Not anymore. There is simply a button. You could just swipe down from your notification center, hit the Dex button and you will, voila, you're in Dex. Or of course, if you have the Folio keyboard, which you buy separately, uh, you basically plug it in with the pogo pins, it automatically switches to Dex and you've got this desktop-like experience, which is absolutely fantastic on this device. Uh, they've got a, done a good job in optimizing it where it runs pretty smooth, opened up applications, feels more like a desktop experience uh, and actually doing work on this feels really solid. I like that. Plus the extra caveat here is that you can plug it in via uh, USB-C to HDMI and pop it up on a bigger monitor and you've got of course your full desktop experience on a larger scale. So it is really nice. I have to tell you that it was really nice using this to just kind of go through maybe different emails, look at some spreadsheets, uh, look at documents, uh, and it, it got, does a really good job in separating that work and play. So you can have the regular Android tablet where you're having fun, watching your entertainment, uh, looking at YouTube videos, things like that. And then when you get like, you know, uh, a spreadsheet from work or something, instead of you looking for your PC, you can just hit Dex and then if you've got a desktop experience where you can, you know, pair with that keyboard and then start typing away and doing all the work you want to do. So definitely a nice plus with this device. Now, the final thing also here is that this thing is super light and is really easy to, to take with you on the go. So pop it into a, a backpack or even a purse, is it's light. You wouldn't feel it at all. Uh, with the... Um, with the uh, folio case, uh, that's a little bit, bit of weight to it, not that much, just a little bit more uh, from what the uh, device is. Plus you've got a brand new S Pen as well, uh, which is really nice, feels more like a pen than maybe a stylus in the past. So I do like that, of course, I'll allow you to write, take down documents and things like that overall. So uh, it's pretty good overall. Now, the only caveat here is that this thing is priced at $649 minus the keyboard. You do get the S Pen with it. The keyboard itself comes in at about $149. So that's the only thing. But Samsung says they are looking for more premium audience with this. I do like this uh, uh, tablet, especially for someone who stayed away from Android tablets. At least I haven't actually, I don't think I've reviewed one in two years. I, I could be wrong, but I don't think I've actually actively reviewed any on this channel in a while. And I have to say though, using this has been really cool. Uh, again, this is not a review. I'm just telling you why I think this is the best Android tablet to pick up because of those features I mentioned. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel. And once you do, hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.